Hi, I'm Dave Roberts and this is Angling Escapades. Hi there and welcome to Angling Escapades on the bank once again and um, you join me today I'm going to do a bit of a uh, bit of rope fishing today firstly though I must say thank you to the response we had for the pole feeder barbel feature we did last week I was worried that I might get some flack from the uh, barbel police uh, but uh, it, I did a little bit but not not too much and generally it was really well received and everybody gave me lots of feedback which I loved and, and it makes it worthwhile I'm not bothered about a few people's opinions uh, it's the you know the, the people I'm trying to attract and not the people who are going to get the ump about me fishing pole feeder for barbel so it was a really fun video to do and, and I really enjoyed putting it together and it's obviously gone down well so thanks for your response to that and like I say, today I want to cut some roach. And this is a peg just upstream of the main Hereford Town Centre where I've caught roach before. It's a very nice peg for this. It's probably not the first peg you'd go to if you're going for roach. Uh, you know, lower, you'd probably go lower down in the town. But here you've got, you know, a nice dark bank. You've got overhanging trees and most importantly, a nice clean bank along the edge here. And I feel, you know, that, that these roach like hanging in tight in these sorts of areas. So I fancy it for a few. Uh, I've got a load of casters left over because our wide chance was cancelled last weekend so I ended up with a load of bait and it was a case of either freezing it or using it so I've kept on to it all week, kept it fresh and uh, I'm going to use it today and hopefully catch some roach on it. So uh, the peg itself is boiling a little bit but it's nice and steady on the inside here so I'll have to set up a couple of rigs just to give me a couple of different presentations. I say when it's boiling up sometimes the strung out rigs which I prefer for roach aren't quite so good so a bulk rig is better. So I'll set up one of each to cover me. I say I'm just going to pretty much concentrate on loose feeding casters. I've got a few maggots, bits and pieces. Uh, I've got some hemp, and I'd probably, if it, the river was a bit bigger, I'd probably put hemp in as well. But because the flow's so steady here, I feel I can get a flow of casters going in and hopefully get the roach interested. So that's the plan of attack. We'll get some gear together and see how we get on. Okay, so we're all set up now. Set up a couple of rigs just to cover what I want to do today. Like I say, my main focus is this inside so um, what I've, first rod I've set up is my favorite uh, stick float setup uh, just a nice like a six number four stick um, with my usual sort of strung out number eight shotting pattern so I start off with them quite close together and then tapering out towards the back end and then my last shot is probably about just over 12 14 inches away from my hook got a size 16 hook on that one which I'm just going to fish try and fish single baits providing I don't get trouble with bleak or minnows or anything like that I'd like to, I like to fish single baits for these roach um, if it's a bit more if I'm getting trouble like that or if it's a bit more sort of turbulent and you you know the colors uh, worse then I'll perhaps fish you know two or three maggots on a hook but um, for me for roach that's the best best setup and I say I use my uh, my dome dome top stick floats as well People like different styles of float. I find a dome, you can do whatever you want with that. If I overshot that, um, it sits under the water and I can hold back against the actual dome as opposed to looking for a shouldered stick float. So I use these for the majority of my stick float fishing on this river, I would say. Um, so that's that rig. And then I've set up, just in case I need to be a bit more positive or like I say, there's smaller fish intercepting the bait or the, the peg boils up, I've set up a, a bulk rig. So this is just a, Simple Avon rig, Avon float, sorry. So that's got a shoulder on it. It's a three gram Avon float. And then I've got just a couple of shot there as my bulk. And then three number eights down the line and I can spread those out or have them bulk together and on that one I've got a size 14 size 14 hook on there which will give me uh, a bit more positive I can fish bunches of maggots and uh, 
you know bigger baits in general and that's really all I need and to be honest those two patterns of, of float or rig will cover me for most of my fish on this river um, throughout the winter <clears throat> yes I might use different size I might go up and you know four or five gram Avon floats and you know 10 12 14 number four stick floats but uh, those actual shotting patterns pretty much cover all of it so it doesn't need to be complicated so then so all I'm going to do like I said earlier I've got some casters uh, which are left over from the weekend I managed to keep these fresh this week week so uh, just giving them a bit of air each day so these are still fresh so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to loose feed casters and what I tend to do when I'm trying to concentrate on this inside part of the swim what I'll do is I'll feed in a two or three different places you know even right down at your keep net because the water's boiling up and you've got to work on a law of averages that if you put bait in enough areas down this column here that it's going to get down the bank to where you want those roach to be feeding so I tend to just keep 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 bait trickling in in different areas and that creates a nice column of bait going down and I expect my catching area to be somewhere down in by that tree there so that's the theory I've got some maggots with me as well I'll put maggots on the hook as well um, you know if I need to but I'm not going to feed any maggots I'm just going to rely on the casters to start with so let's get going and have a go There we go then, so that's what we came for. Beautiful Y roach. And that's actually quite a small one, so, but what a great start. That's the sort of thing we're looking for. So where I can, I like to uh, I like to fish with a single caster. Um, like I say, sometimes you know conditions don't allow it. Uh, you know, or, or the, you know, there's too many small fish around, so you have to fish bigger baits. But if I can, I'm feeding casters. So if I can get away with fishing a single caster on the hook, um, that's what I do. And all I do is a size 16 hook. Nothing fancy, just a single caster on a size 16. And it's just a case really of just laying the, what I do is I lay the rig in front of me and then I'll just draw the float into the edge to the sort of, to get it running on the line where I want it to run. Keep the feed going in, like I say, plenty of feed at different, just in an area really, so I'm just creating columns of bait. And that's running now, that's trundling down on a lovely line there now, it's going through. Even though the peg's boiling a bit, it's still moving. And that's what I want for these ropes, I just want it to move through all the time. Sometimes it actually moves out too far, it's running, you know, for me that's running too far out, so all I'll do then 
is just draw it back and drop it in to the zone where I want it because I say the peg boils up and it pushes it out and pushes it in sometimes but I want to keep as tight to the edge as I can really that's running lovely now that's coming right down the inside where I'd expect cap That was right down the inside that one. This is a bigger one this time. Oof, it's a belting roach. Now that's a Y roach. Absolutely stunning. Single caster again. And that was really tight in. That was not far off, you know, from where I'm sitting. So it just goes to show these bigger fish sitting real tight.
So we're coming to towards the end of our session now. It's getting a bit dark, um, but I've had an interesting little. Had to change tactics a little bit because I was catching some some decent roach, and then now the, there's lots of little dace and little bleak have moved in, which is you know indicative of sort of fishing on my own. There's not many people on the bank today, so obviously any loose feed that's going in has attracted every little fish in the area. So, but I know there's still roach down there. So I've, what I've done is I've changed to the bulk rig. To the Avon rig, and I'm just basically it gives it gives, giving it a chance to get down. And I'm fishing with big baits. I'm fishing like either treble maggot or double caster, and um, it's given me a chance to get down to those bigger fish. And um, it's helped me to continue catching some of these ropes, which I say I, I know they're there, but um, you're literally fishing single caster and maggots. You just can't get a bait down to them. Um, so fishing this way has just enabled me just to get few more fish you see these are the fish I'm catching little tiny dace I mean great to see the rivers full of them absolutely full of them and it's great to see but uh, when you know there's roach down there it's a bit frustrating so I'm just uh, this is just giving it fishing this way is just giving me an opportunity to still get amongst a, a few of the bigger roach but you have to fish very I have to fish very tight right against the bank and just hold it in right against the bank Every now and again you'll get through and you'll get a pop of fish. It's incredible how tight I am actually fishing. The rod's almost too long. even tight in there's still these little fish so hard to get through them but uh, I say we'll keep persevering because I think there are there are ropes there. As big as one of some of the ones we've been catching, but you see there are still roach there. Still able to, uh, still able to pick a few eggs. You know, if you were to offer me one species for the rest of my life and one method, stick float or run in line for, for ro big roach on this river would probably be the one I'd take because that's a stunning fish. Not the biggest one I've had today, but uh, a stunning fish. Yeah. Absolute beauty. Now I am definitely finishing on that fish because I don't think it's going to get much better than that, is it? Hey, look at that. Is that going to be a pound and a half, something like that? Stunning fish. 
and you know this river now is as perfect as I've seen it yet this year and I think you know now it's perfect you can see the fishing and the fish that are here and I think this winter is going to be the same as last winter I think we're going to have brilliant roach sport right through and dace and everything else that's here as well but uh, what a fish buzzing with that so there you go then another fantastic little afternoon um, say stick float to start with plenty of roach on that and then uh, as these smaller fish have moved in we've had to just go a bit more positive with the rig a bit more of a bulk rig but ultimately simple fishing casters just running casters through nothing you know nothing too uh, too fancy with rigs or rods or anything like that and I'm only catching here I could have fished this with a 10 foot rod today so just goes to show you don't need all the gear we carry sometimes but if you fancy a bit of this um, please get in touch um, you know we offer these days out uh, whether it be for roach whether it be pike salmon we do the lot so um, if you're interested please get in contact also at this time of year if you're like me I keep getting asked what I want for Christmas well maybe it might be a day out on this wonderful river so uh, if that's something um, you're interested in we do gift vouchers and that sort of thing so busy couple of weeks coming up we've got festivals and finals and what have you coming up so I don't know where we'll be next we might do some filming on that but um, hopefully we'll have something soon for you and I hope you've enjoyed this and we'll see you next time